Okay guys, welcome back. In the previous video, we scraped some basic information from a profile, so we're gonna continue from there. What we're gonna do in this video, guys, is we're gonna scrape a whole page directory. Um, so what I've done, I pulled up the one we're gonna use. It's homes.com forward slash directory forward slash Austin line Texas. And what it is, is just the first page of all the realtors in the Texas in the Texas Austin nope, Austin Texas area so we can see all the different people here now the information that we want to get is simply the uh, URL of their profile so what we're going to start building here guys is a, a scraper that, that gets all the different profiles of the um, realtors and then it goes to each one then profiles and scrapes the data that we're after so what we're going to do is fire up bass and all I've done so far is I've loaded up the page that I just showed you on Google. Okay, so what we want to do, we want to get all the href uh, URLs, the attributes, sorry. So let me just show you back on Google, actually. If I hover my mouse over one of the text that says view my profile, you'll see in the bottom left corner the URL of that profile. So we want to scrape all of them, not just the first one, we want to get each I think there's nine on each page okay guys so going back over to Bass what we're going to do is highlight the first um, link or the first text that says view my profile and what you want to do is left click and go to the for each element and then put start loop I recommend that you look at the um, video that we did um, videos that we did on loops to uh, get an idea of how they work better but you press start loop and it will ask you what what you're looking for what bass should look for and at the moment it's found one element um, that matches the CSS um, which is the element that we highlighted now you'll see that it, each section of an element is split into three in this case so if we get rid of the first one because all the first one is is the number the the number of view my profile link so if you hover your mouse over this one you'll see it says child 9 the first child this one child 10 the one that we first highlighted child 8 so if we get rid of the first section which like I said is just the the element number if we get rid of that you'll see it says 33 and that's no good to us uh, at all there's only nine profiles on there but you'll see there's an, another option there's a different CSS option which is the agent footer um, and then details so it's the second option so if we highlight that it'll go back and say only one elements found because once again it's the original one that we highlighted now if we do what we did again and get rid of the first section which is from the first arrow backwards because once again that's just the the number of view my profile links so if we get rid of that you'll see it now says 9 which is perfect that's exactly what we want so then we press OK and what we've done there we've made a loop and we're saying to Bass look for every single CSS that you can find on the page that matches this which is the um, dot agent for um, and then forward arrow details okay I'm telling you this guys in the most basic form um, in a couple of videos time we're gonna look under the hood and um, show you why why we do it this way and what it all means okay but for now we you just want to follow along and be able to do this so then at the start of the loop we're gonna once again highlight the first view my profile and left click for each element again now last time we used in the previous video sorry we went to the option to get element text now we're not looking for a text this time we want the link underneath or the attribute the, the set attribute which is the URL so in this instance we choose set I'm uh, sorry get element attribute now please don't worry about the first line um, for this case that will be explained in the under the hood video um, the attribute name once again is the variable what will the variable be called so I'm going to call it uh, URL link but call it something that makes sense to you and the type of attribute that we're looking for is href which basically means a URL all the URL links okay so press ok 
and then underneath that what we want to do is just so we can see it working for now we want to go to tools log and the data that we want to show is the variable URL link attribute okay we press OK and there we go so what what I'm gonna do is just do that now run through the loop so you can see that in action so you'll see it's going over each element that it's found and then it's logging the URL that it's found so let me just go over that again guys so what we're doing we go into the directory page we start on a loop so we're saying to bass find this CSS element and it found nine of them which is correct and then we're saying for each one of them elements that you find put the URL link into sorry put the attribute the href attribute or the URL link into sorry a variable and the variable is called URL um, link attribute and then we want to show that in the log so we're just looping through all that it can find it should find nine in total and there we go I'm going to exit now and see what the log says and as you'll see in the log is each one of the URLs for each of the real estate agents now how we can grow this guys is we can save this data into um, sorry into a text file which you should know how to do from the previous video so I'm going to let you do that although if you're getting stuck it um, the project file is available for download under this video um, so what we're going to do in the next video is take each of these URLs and visit them individually and we're going to scrape data from, from the, each profile and then we're going to expand even further by um, using threads and all sorts later on guys. So I hope you followed along um, with the elements and href and all this kind of thing and the loops. Um, look at the previous video um, about loops. Um, um, excuse me. Um, but if it doesn't all make sense right now, it will as we go forward because we get, we're going to talk about why we choose certain elements and what they mean in the under the hood video. So carry on guys, it will all make sense and I'll see you in the next video.